The sales of the Opera House will soon be lit up in a paid advertisement for a horse race. But security concerns mean betting on the race has been suspended. Near the steps of the New South Wales Parliament, a last-ditch bid to block the barrier draw light show. I don't think it's, it's, it's the right way to do business in, in Sydney and New South Wales. Sydney father Mike Woodcock taking his petition to the Premier's office. More than 280,000 signatures gathered in just three days to stop a promotion for Australia's richest horse race from being beamed on the sales of the Opera House. I don't think a horse race belongs on there. Citing security concerns, the barrier draw for the Everest was brought forward and held in secret, forcing betting to be suspended for several hours. It had been planned to be held live as part of the display, a display that will go ahead. I think it's been a little bit hysterical, to be honest with you. I think uh, this is a good opportunity for New South Wales and Sydney to come together. Radio host Alan Jones has apologised for his questioning of the Opera House chief executive. I don't believe my words or actions qualify as those of a bully or a misogynist, but there are clearly many people who do believe that. And to those people who have been offended, I apologise. I'm always happy to do that. Last night he was mocked by satirists from The Chaser, who beamed his phone number onto the Opera House. Tonight's display will include jockeys' colours, barrier numbers and the Everest trophy. Critics call it a misuse of the UNESCO listed site. One think tank believes it may breach heritage laws and has called for a review. Whatever you think of the light show, it should comply with Commonwealth environmental law. And with public opinion divided, the Prime Minister again weighing in. I'm sure we can all respect each other's views on this and I'm sure the Premier, uh, as they've considered all that, will ensure that uh, how they go forward with this will be done sensitively and respectfully. And reporter Omar Dabaj is at the Opera House now where a protest will coincide with tonight's display. Omar, what are protesters planning to do? Well, Tomo, they say they're going to try to interfere and block the display with a light show of their own. Uh, from multiple positions, protesters are apparently, excuse me, sorry, thank you, uh, apparently going to execute different plans of action. There's talk of a light show of their own using projectors, mobile phones and torches, while some just say they want their voices heard. In this case, they want to be shown as well. Um, but organisers admit this is an ad hoc light for light protest and know they'll likely be outshone by racing New South Wales' multi-million dollar projector. And Tomo, with sunset fast approaching, that divisive display is about 40 minutes away. Thank you, Omar Debarge, reporting from the Sydney Opera House.